Hey what's up everybody this is Kramon and welcome back to another Summoner's War video So today we'll be doing a guild battle and we are fighting Illuminate So we haven't won yet and we'll probably do like one of the zeros, two and three alright So there's two towers here full life Ah no wonder everybody dodging Molly because it's gonna waste 10 minutes of their time <laughs> I'll do the same as well Okay this guy has Molly too Okay, we'll go into Monkey God. Yeah, this one should be pretty simple. I believe we can just Lucian the bottom. Very simple with Mirene. We shouldn't lose. Even if the Gianna moves first, we do not have any buffs on our team, right? And then we are kind of speed sync together with the Teon and Mirene. Our Lucian should be able to pop off. And on the top, I want to try bring in our Tilmars, Vigor, and a healer. Do we need one? Maybe like a wind tank? Yeah, we can go with the Triana. I think it should be fine. So crit rate leader, I think is best because my Tilmar's 80%. Hmm. Yeah, attack power maybe. Okay, we'll go with this. Because we'll definitely crit the Kakano and Nora. And then we just press the auto button onto the Riley after that. Let's just go ahead. Oh, gets the provoke. Um We'll try to armor break the Nora. Because the Riley can only cleanse one. And then we go for the big hit. Or oh, not enough to kill. Very tanky Nora though. Okay, we can heal up. So now we got speed buff. We should be able to finish off the Nora. 28k, yep, there we go. And then we are able to cleanse up here. Next turn, my Vigor got a heal again. So just triple crush, easy one shot. <laughs> Press the auto button. <laughs> yeah, Thomas hits like a truck, man. Don't get him go. So many additional turns. That's still one of the beauty of having Tiomas on your defense. That's why I think that's why a lot of people are still running the Molong slash Tianlong Molly Tiomars. Because in those kind of lineup, right? With the HP leader and Molly's glancing on the passes sometimes working wonders, it's just so hard to kill off the Tiomars. And the longer you delay the fight, the higher the percentage the Tiomas will be able to wreck you with all the violent procs. <laughs> So we do have destroy runes on somebody here on our Vigor, I believe. And yeah, slowly but surely we'll definitely win this one. Ah, oh, I didn't get a prop there. Yeah, every single time this Riley will have the fourth skill up. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> That's why I hate to deal with this. Come on man. Stop healing. Can we like just land the armor break? Okay, maybe we'll just play it manually. So two turns for our Vigos armor break on cooldown. Riley heals up again. Come on, man. Nice proc. Finally, the Riley goes down. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, this one, we are just gonna go for the curse music. And then we can boost up our Lucian. Very important to speed tune your Mirene with the Tion if you have that unit. And then we just go for the M. It's pretty big damage. My Lucian kinda got like a pretty good upgrade comparing to previously. Yeah, I'll be able to show you the runes. So before we do that, uh, let's just find one of the plus twos here. We'll fight Yao KFC's defense because I feel like this unit here, the Wind Bison, is somewhat meta currently. We are seeing a lot of Sagars on Siege defense and I really need to practice against this guy because honestly it's quite tough to deal with him. Especially when they're running the Molo Molly Sagar, right? Because you can't really bring in the Water Wall Bear, Dalgora, because it's just gonna be resetted. Very hard for the revive to come into play. Or sometimes maybe even the Tilmar's Molly and Sagar, pretty decent. Yeah, we lost to uh, quite a few against VRK that time when I was in GOAT. So we are seeing a Molong Molly and Kiki though. 
I, I feel like just playing Teomars all the way <laughs> is quite fun. And yeah, we can go with this too. However, we go with Riley this time for our cleanse heal. We lost our Lucian, but yeah, we won't be Lucianing the bottom. However, this is my Lucian stats at the moment. Previously, our attack was only like plus 2.1k-ish with 2-2 two, two something crit damage. But yeah, we've been farming Necros for quite some time already. So we kind of managed to bring up the attack about 150-ish and the crit damage about 20%. However, the crit rate, I'm still lacking 1%. Which comes from this rune honestly because 4% crit rate is like a blue enchanted gem. I can't seem to get the purple one. But if we just manage to get like 5% and above then our Lucian should be able to do pretty good. Yeah, more consistent damage with the crit. And we're only lacking behind the slot 2 because the slot 2 is kind of papega. We got like a lot of rolls into the defense, 2 rolls. Then 1 roll into the crit rate and crit damage. So yeah, this one can be a lot better, um, but I'm kind of done farming Necros already. We need to focus on grinds and also, uh, what do you call it, grinds and artifacts, right? Okay, so this one, honestly, I feel like we can Nora Rika this guy, going with Saf. Because they do not have any strippers on their side. We are under wheel. It's only the Saga, right? Single target, we'll take it. We should be able to kill them with the dots really easily. Yeah, let's just go ahead. Okay, first one will be pretty interesting. We need to kill off the Kiki as soon as possible. Toxic unit. Um, we'll place the immunity first. Just in case. Oh my god, we are taking so much damage. Yo! The heal block! We need to cleanse the heal block. Okay. Don't strip. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me, man. My Thomas is dead. <laughs> Shit! Wow, this team quite strong. Ah, unlucky. How do you deal with Kiki, man? This unit is so annoying. And it has life steal as well. Yeah, we'll just go next. Oh my god, we have to win this one. Please strip. Oh, we got the stun off. Perfect. Okay, let's lay out the dots. Okay, can we place the heal block? Let's go. I think Kinky will die already, right? To the dots. Yeah, this team pretty decent. Let me just go for the stuns. Everything will die. <laughs> and also with this lineup, you got like a slight form of heal from Nora on the normal attack. So pretty decent stuff, although we lost against the Kiki. Um, Yeah, another Saga defense. I saw a lot of people actually running this when they have the Lima. And I want to try out something fun here. We'll probably go with Douglas. So I ruined my Douglas on destroy. Double fire and possibly a dark tank. And on the bottom, we are gonna go with Tassarion. Tassarion very good against the Iris, Savannah, Azectra. Possibly a Leo and Annabelle. Um, should be okay. We got cleanse for Leo. Then might as well just run the resistance leader. Okay, let's go. The first team will be pretty fun to see. Okay, good. We got the counter off already. So the Lima is on Violin. Okay. Just try to work on her, I guess. I want to force her to use the buff. Oh, not doing it yet. We have a chance to kill off the Lima already. Oh my god, but my Dia's taking so much damage. Oh no. We have to strip all this away. Please. Didn't get it onto the Lima, are you serious? Hey. 
That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Come on. Kill? Or still alive? Yo, Diaz is dead, man. Now, whether Douglas wins Kinky, I don't think so, right? <laughs> There's no way. Okay, we can steal a turn here. Try to go for the nuke. Okay, now we strip. Oh Jesus Christ, we took so much damage. No despair stun. My Juno haven't stunned yet. Whole game. Ah, uh, it's not gonna glance, so yeah. It doesn't work. <laughs> That's my bad. Probably another fire damage dealer would be better in that place. Yeah, I just wanted to deal with the Lima as soon as possible. Okay, now mine. We'll Oblivion this guy. And might as well lay out the Water Garden Angel, it's fine. The armor break don't really scare me. Because my Leo should be able to tank. Ooh, big damage though. Okay, I think we secure at least a win here because we'll be able to heal up. So yeah, maybe not the brightest choice bringing in Douglas. <laughs> I just wanted to play him for some reason. Ha! Ah, okay, now mine. We learn from our mistakes, so that's about it for this one. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as it helps out the channel a ton. Thank you very much for all the support. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, stay safe. Peace out.